Hello everybody. So if you are someone who all who already understands what rolling analysis is or what rolling average and all those things are, please feel free to skip the video by one or two minutes, right? And then uh, you can continue watching how to find that. But if you're not, then just uh, let's spend one minute to understand what rolling is. If you Google about rolling analysis, right? So let's see what is it. This is what you get, right? Where it says according to the implicit algorithm, blah, 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 blah. Let me help you understand with the simple example simple practical example so let's say this is the data from a bank okay where uh, it is showing month on month exposure when i say exposure that means for the month of january they have 4.9 crores of exposure that means they have done the lending of 4.9 crores okay so let's say now we are done with this with the year 2021 and after end of the year we want to understand what was the um, you know monthly a monthly exposure right so if you go by each of the month and you try to find that becomes difficult then you might come up with a solution where you will get a average right so you see this kind of average they, that may again not make much sense right or maybe if you want to see how it was differing month uh, how the average was differing month on month right in that scenario you can find find the rolling average so how do we find the rolling average okay so for that what let's say if you want to calculate three month rolling average so what you will do is at the third month you'll come over here right and then what you're gonna do is you do average it completely depends whether you want to uh, find a rolling a rolling three month average including current uh, current month or excluding current month here i'm doing it including current month and you just get the average of this now you might say that what what's new in this this is just a simple average that's true but let's drag this let's put this in the second one okay so if you come over here and if you see this is giving you the average starting from b2 to b4 right this is what you are getting the average but when you come over here it is giving you the average from b3 to till b5 from here till here so what is the difference that you see you see that at the bottom side it is increasing one month and from behind it is removing the one month so no matter whatever uh, month that you drag it for it will always be for last three months here if you see it has b4 till b6 so b4 b5 and b6 three month okay starting from b4 till here so this is the average which you are getting which says 5.5 crores okay then again when you come over here this has 6.27 crores so every uh, every month uh, when you just drag this it is shifting the uh, range of average by one month right so this is what the rolling average is in a nutshell let me to uh, let me quickly take you to the jupyter notebook and try to help you understand how can you calculate it in jupyter notebook so here is the when i say jupyter notebook that means in pandas okay so here is the da same data which we have over here and i would like to find the rolling average for that so this is my final data frame name this is my data frame name right and here i would say rolling average average okay and how do i find this so i'll give the data frame name i'll give the variable name which is exposure and then i'll call a function which is called rolling and in this you need to use window parameter uh it, what does window parameter means here you simply say that you want to roll over for three months or maybe for six months or for four months whatever that you want so here i want to roll over for three months because i, I have the monthly data so i'll be rolling over by month okay whatever data that you have you can roll over according to that then when we are rolling over what sort of aggregation that we want to do i want to do mean okay i want to find the mean now let's see what how does it looks like so you when you do so this is what you get okay if this is looking hazy what you can do is you can simply round it up round and over here i will say two decimal places now this might be looking much better you see over here first two are uh, you know just missing because if, if you want to find a rolling three month average for this particular month you won't have the data right you you are eligible to find it from here only okay so if you match this with the excel it will exactly be same so this was for finding the mean if you want to find median so what you can do is just median and over here you just change the function and here is what you get 
same way if you want to find sum of it rolling sum then you can also find then you can find that as well okay rolling sum sorry here rolling sum so here we simply want to uh, see how was the rolling uh, total doing okay now you see this i'm not sure if this is going to be very meaningful for you rolling sum or not but yeah this is how you can calculate so this is the simplest way of uh, uh, finding the rolling analysis be it average mean median or whatever you want i just hope that it was simple for you to understand if yes then just give a thumbs up and share with your friends thank you very much for watching the video wish you good